US general claimed the UK no longer has a top tier fighting force. I'm not going to sort of say, look over here, look at the red arrows, trigger the colour. I'm going to actually say, that's what's going on behind the scenes and we're going to try and fix it. Britain is keen to support Ukraine in its war with Russia. Here, soldiers train Ukrainian recruits in the UK. But underfunded and facing further cuts, the British Army is in need of help too. And defence ministers appear to agree. The serial underinvestments in the army over decades has led to the point where the army is in urgent need of recapitalisation. The Chancellor and the Prime Minister get that, and there's a budget coming. His boss knows there are challenges, but says he has a plan to reverse the decline. I've always said I'm not going to uh, pretend things are perfect. I'm not going to sort of say, look over here, look at the red arrows and trigger the colour. I'm going to actually say, that's what's going on behind the scenes and we're going to try and fix it. The comments came after Sky News revealed that a US general had said the British Army is no longer regarded as a top-level fighting force. Opposition politicians were scathing about the downgrade even though past Labour governments were also to blame. A Labour government will put as its first priority keeping our country safe, and we will do what is required. It says that back in 2020, the government injected an extra £16 billion into defence. But what's not mentioned is that wasn't as much as the military had been asking for to plug capability gaps. Since then, you've had the war here in Ukraine, increased security threats, and a renewed sense of urgency that the army can't be allowed to break. This is really a story of choices. Behind me is the UK's defence spending as a percentage of GDP since the end of the Cold War. Less money being spent as the perceived threat recedes. Much of that money being spent elsewhere. This is what health spending has done over a similar period, not too far off, but really moving away over recent years. And that's a choice made by successive governments. But that reduction in spending has meant a reduction in armed forces personnel. You can see just how much that has fallen. But the UK isn't alone here. Many other countries reacted the same way to the end of the Cold War. This shows the proportion of GDP spent by different countries over the same time. It's a similar picture. This is where the UK is in gold. We're in the middle of the pack, really. You're behind US and Russia. But we spend much more than they we spend more than they do in absolute terms. Then you've got other countries like Poland, which today has announced it's increasing its defense budget to 4% of GDP. The question is, what do we spend that money on? And this is the equipment plan for the Ministry of Defence. What are they going to spend money on the next 10 years? Nuclear deterrent is the biggest one. Then you've got the Royal Air Force. The Army is getting less of that money, which is why we've heard some of these calls. And this comes back to the integrated review, this idea of a global Britain and tilt to the Indo-Pacific. And for that sort of strategy, you need new equipment, best exemplified by the Queen Elizabeth class carriers. Two of them delivered at a huge cost, 6.4 billion pounds, to project power across the seas. Now, some experts have said that's putting money in the wrong place. They're expensive sitting ducks for anti-ship missiles. But land-based systems often have a similar problem. Compare those air carriers to the Ajax armored vehicle. The MOD signed a contract for 5.5 billion pounds for 589 vehicles. It's supposed to come into service in 2017, but they have been plagued by technical problems around noise and vibration, and we are still waiting on that. And Ajax is just one, albeit a giant program. The Public Accounts Committee has said the Ministry of Defence's entire procurement program is broken. So there is a lot of money, more than nearly every other country on the planet, and a lot of it is not being spent. Well.